uh, tour of America through food. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Next up on the list, we've got oh, Odile McKeegan. Miss McKeegan. Justin Bieber's the Polar Games. <laughs> Sweetheart, your son wants to do a report on the last 250 years of American history. Were you asleep when I gave it? No, no, I have it. I have it. Okay, go ahead then. <laughs> America began when a bunch of people came here from old England to escape prostitution. <laughs> oh, 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 I meant prostitution. <laughs> the first Americans were fleeing prosecution for bad credit scores. <laughs> America was a penis colony. Indians showed up and taught them their ways and gave them food to eat. Popular Indian foods are samosas and chicken tikka. <laughs> These were probably at the first Thanksgiving. Yeah. Those are not the right kind of Indians, Miss McKeegan. That kind of attitude has created terrible conditions for Indians from South Dakota to Bombay. It took men like God to free the Indians so that they could build casinos. <laughs> New England, a.k.a. America, in a war against Old England, a.k.a. Old America. <laughs> they did not want to pay taxes on tea, so they dressed up like Indians and dumped the tea in the bottom. <laughs> Indians wore garments called saris. <laughs> George Washington was the first president of the United States. Other founding fathers, like Thomas Jefferson, were also president. Thomas Jefferson's first vice president, Aaron Burr, got into a fight with Alexander Hamilton. That was sort of like Channing Tatum versus that one dude in Step Up. But instead of <laughs> super sick dance moves, they used guns, and someone died. So, Washington got a new vice president, George Clinton. <laughs> George Clinton was an advocate for mothers, ships, and parliamentary procedures. <laughs> a young country needs to make more Americans, defend itself, and govern in funk. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson died on July 4th, 1826, of jungle fever. <laughs> After the revolution, America became overconfident. This led to civil war. It was brother against brother, but some of the brothers were for the brothers, and some of the brothers were against the brothers. <laughs> In the end, President Lincoln won, and he freed all the brothers. <laughs> that, sadly, that is the most true statement in this entire report so far. Um, Adile, what did you learn about strategy used in the Civil War? Um, well, like if you're perpetuating an immoral, reprehensible crime against humanity, mm -hmm. then get hot guys to fight for you. <laughs> the Confederacy had Clark Gable and Gone with the Wind and Jude Law and Cold Mountain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> After the Civil War, America realized that we would fight less if we had more room. So we looked west. America did have to remove some leftover Indians to get access to their land. <laughs> the Indians that were not mortally evicted were converted to Christianity by missionaries. Indians have like a million words to say about missionaries, which I have listed in this Kama Sutra right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, during Prohibition, Nucky Thompson from Reservoir Dogs <laughs>
in its movie and TV resources, leaving everything in black and white until the 60s. <laughs> That's called segregation. <laughs> the first man on the moon was Neil Optimus Prime. Um, after I woke up, JFK had been assassinated by Steve Harvey Oswald. His assassination, his assassination um, earned an Academy Award for Best Cinematography and Best Film Editing. The end! <laughs> Sweetheart, you learned something! 